Hello, Monster Bounty, and welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms and the second part of my Shimoka campaign in the Furious Wild DLC. Last time we beat up Jin, this guy. He came over, we beat him up, and now we're heading towards his territory to go and take it. So he's got a couple of provinces. He's got this one over here, Fuling, and he's also got... That's Fuling. This is Jia... Jianwei? This is fooling. Good, good. That's yep. So this is a little little cattle place, little livestock farm, and there's a capital there. So we can take out both of those. We will get his fealty, which is this one over here, I believe. Is that one? What's his name? Jin Uh oh, is this guy? Okay, so we get more income from peasantry. Well, it's better than a kick in the teeth, I guess. Um, currently, we're making a little bit more money here, mostly from our population. We're trying to grow our population as quickly as possible. We can get up to 900,000, and the sooner we get up to 900,000, the sooner we get more money, basically. So I'm going to be trying to grow that. Now, the nice thing about this province is it's actually pretty defended. Um, basically, surrounding us is the Han Empire, and, you know, they aren't really going to do much. But the only other enemy we've got is down here, and to be honest, he's not that threatening. Let us get this over with. He says he's a courageous warrior, but doesn't actually tend to do. He, I've, I've never been attacked by him, basically, so we're pretty safe from that angle. And so, basically, I mean, we, we, we're nice, nice and secure here. So, definitely building up this province, um, I would say do that because you're not going to get a more secure province, especially as we head deeper into the tribal lands where everyone's going to want to chop our head off. Um, so I think we can just end the turn. We got a family spear last time. That was quite nice. Little family spear for uh, for Kai or Sai. I'm going to call him Kai, I think. I mean, I'd, I'd call him Gerald if I could, but uh, we need to prepare the economy. At start of the turn, have at least six food. We'll get economic breakthrough, which will give us uh, research rates for Nanman Economics. The enemy secret, need to defeat three armies or garrisons. That'll give us the military breakdown, which will give us uh, more research for the military. And then political. So we need to have a treaty with a faction, non-aggression, military, uh, blah, blah, blah. And we also need to uh, know ten factions. And that will give us the political stuff. Good, good. And we have... Oh, we've got elephant taming. Lovely. And we... Oh, apparently Sunjan has been killed by Huang Zhu at the Battle of Dubidu, cut down in a hail of arrows. Well, and a woman saw, oh dear, apparently Kai and Mengli, Mengli, Meng, that, her, my sister, they're not getting on, never mind. We've got a war elephant, that's nice. Um, I could give it to Shimoke, because, do I want to do that? I mean, I can always let's 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 put him on an elephant. It does it does change his mouth. I don't know if it takes in the weapon into account. I don't know if I want to do that then because it drops his melee. You know what? I probably don't. Maybe I want to give it to Kai. You want to go on an elephant, Kai? Kai's on an elephant. Good old Kai. Okay, so I'm going to wait one turn to replenish, and then we're going to head on, I think is what we're going to do. Now, we did recruit someone else. We got Dai here. So we got Dai because I need to marry someone. Uh, fam characters. No, family tree. Okay, how much is it to marry someone? 2,000? Jesus Christ. 2K for a marriage? Oh, guys. True what they say, isn't it? Marriage tax. Bloody hell. 2,000? They like bloody robbery. Just Fine, we'll just go to the registry office. It'll be really romantic. We'll put some candles up. It'll be, it'll be nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to head down here and we're going to take this ASAP before you can do anything about it. That should be fine. Um... We might actually be able to build something next turn. I'm thinking whatever's going to give us more population growth. So the sacred ground 
it's going to give us another 5k. So I'm all about that. I'm all about the population growth because the population growth gives us more income than basically anything else at this point. So um, just cram people in there. And that'll be grand. That's what we need to do. Oh. You want it, do you? You want it. All right. Come and get it. They may have rhino flags, but I've got an elephant. I called him Edward. Edward the elephant. There he is. I've only had him for one turn, and I love him. To battle. Isn't that good? It's great. And uh, this is this is the first rank of elephants. So this is like the weakest one. Um, elephants are pretty, pretty, pretty brutal. A charge in. Here comes Edwards. He's large and in charge. He, he stops for no man. Edward does not give a shit. Literally... <laughs> Just carves a path. Just carves a th 31 kills so far. Just make that 48. Or 52. Either way. Uh, elsewhere, our units are just, just running all over them. Our slightly better slingers, this is where our slightly better slingers come into their own, are easily winning a slinger duel with the enemy slingers who are slightly worse than our slightly better slingers. That's right. And someone, some idiot has decided to engage Shimoka in single combat. Foolhardy. At best. I mean, he does, he does not, I'm going to be honest, doesn't really stand a chance. And already, he's, he's pretty much almost dead. Go on, hit him. You are pitiful. Is he though? I do not fear your words or your blade. It's more sort of a stone axe, really. The enemy and he's dead. Forward. Well, that was foreseeable. Our little slinger duel is nearing its ends. Kill Our slingers it. definitely have the upper hand there. They're out of here. Eat my slightly better stones. Oh, you really shouldn't have duelled me. That was a terrible idea. Celebrate! Our victory was just. Hello. You are, let's see, ascetic. Not bad. Cautious. Okay. And beautiful. Well, that's not great for me. Um, you got a stone axe, which I don't really care about. I could just release. I'm just going to release you, I think. Run back to your masters. And I'm going to take the replenishment. Now, having him wandering free isn't ideal. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. Meng Ho. No, not my friend. He's my ally. You can't declare war on him, you bastard. Okay, here we go. A union between tribes. So, King Dosi personally comes before you respectfully asking for your consent to marry your sister. In a private discussion, your sister has stated her willingness to the match. Dosai is a good man. The benefits of a strong alliance will serve the people of the Five Valleys well, potentially unifying them as a stronger whole. As such, she will gladly pay her part to pay in the tribes to see the tribe succeed. Um, so we will approve the marriage. So Dio-chan is up to her shenanigans. Okay, so we've done the marriage. So that's good. That's a little event. Now, if we can finish off this guy... He should then confederate with us. So we'll, we'll get the vanguard, because anything that basically makes him more killy, it has to be good. I mean, so far he's got 3.6 armor-piercing damage. So far. And Kai... Um, what do I like here? You know what? I'm tempted to get... Oh, you know what? There's no point get making you go sentinel, because you're on a... Is it... Me right. I don't... No... 
In fact, actually helps with the melee damage. But what might help is more health. So let's maybe go with the resolve. And then we can, should just be a nice easy battle there considering we've killed most of the garrison already. My will was unbeatable. Now occasionally we'll pick up these like the stone weapons, the base weapons, and we shouldn't be getting them I don't think. I think that's been fielded as a bug to the devs. Um, so, you know, you, you shouldn't be just picking those up. That's that you, you always have them. It's <laughs> it's nothing special. Okay, you won't be replenishing at the moment, which is fine. I am going to concentrate on upgrading this settlement. Um, oh, I need a small city to do that. How much money do I need for that? 3k. Mm, we'll have that next turn. That is going to use two food. We have four, though, so that's fine. That's okay. Um... We don't need more food, so there's no point upgrading the farm yet. Together. Plus, we've got the pastures down here. A um, little bit concerned about him meandering around. Speak quickly. I wonder if he would. No, he won't. He won't be vassalized by me. Well, I don't want to become the vassal of someone else. Um, can I get a trade agreement? For you? I can get a trade agreement from you, can't I? Uh, if I negotiate to that, see you. can I request regular payments of 45? A successful bid. It's not a lot of money, but it, it it's, it'll help. It's something. Yeah, Meng Hao is he's going a bit mad. Okay, gift from... There we go. As the wedding celebrations, King Dosai presents you with a fine gift, a tribute, a beautifully crafted bow. Inspecting the craftsmanship, you can see that such a weapon is fit for a king and gracious it is the gift and the manner in which it is offered. So we get the red wind. We can fire backwards. Holy shit. So that's good. So we can give that to you. Bosh. There we go. It actually gives us the Heart of Courage, which gives us extra da melee damage for melee infantry. Um, and if we have an overseer... Then we actually get fatigue immunity. I don't think we have an overseer, do we? Devious? No. No, but if we did... Holy balls. Fatigue immunity. Okay, you tried to run away. Spread in all directions. But, spoilers, didn't run far enough. Ooh. Let feasting commence. I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't want to eat after that. Um, let's take the replenishment. To restore order. And we have got the military breakthrough. Whoop, whoop. Oh, I forgot to... Did I forget to do... Did I forget to do tech? I did, didn't I? Oops, didn't remind me. What? Bloody... What? Oh, no, the reason it didn't was because it's locked. It's locked until we do the quest, that's why. Right, uh, more replenishment. That sounds like something we want to do. So let's get tribal tenacity. Our time comes. Indeed. Right, we are going to meander this way. Uh, I'm going to do it just in March, uh, in normal stance, so we can heal up. Uh, we've got the red winds. You are rivals, but you'll get over it. Probably. Let's upgrade the small city. That is going to take six turns, which is quite an investment, but this this province is so safe that I'm, I'm not particularly worried. This province, on the other hand, is, is quite open to attack. Um, it might seem like this, this little province here is fairly safe. But in fact, if you kind of look here, you can see a little road and armies can come um, around this mountain and it can be a bugger to defend that. Um, don't get caught out like that, though I did. I, I got caught out by that and I was not a happy bunny. I thought this army was heading there and I thought it was going to go all the way around and come and I thought, I, I can easily knock them out before then. And uh, then they attacked that settlement and I was like, oh... Uh, we will give payments and regular payments. Mm. Well, I don't like you, but not being at war with you would be potentially useful at the moment. So sure. We have come to terms. I'll take that for the moment. But your time will come. You big feathery bastard. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Right, we're going to go straight on to the capital. Should be fairly straight. Should be fairly straightforward to take. I don't think they've actually got anyone there. No, they might recruit a general before we reach there, but I'm not. I'm not 
that concerned. Um, I wonder if we can get... We could get military access with you. To be honest, we won't need it, because as soon as we take this, this settlement, he should vassalize with us. And that means he should stop his war with Meng, Meng Ho. Hopefully, anyway. You are a threat that must be ended. Eh. Fire burns brightly and indiscriminately. But no flame can last forever. Starved of air, it chokes, it splutters, and is then extinguished. The tyrant is dead. Yet in the ashen darkness, the avaricious prowl. Okay, well, oh God, look, Meng, Meng Ho is just declaring war on everyone. It's going a bit mad. Uh, Fall of the tyrant, so Dong Zhao is dead, and Dong Min has taken over. Good luck with that. Desire, You'll need it. Shape and guide passion. Show them heat! Okay, I think that's just going to be an nice, easy auto resolve. I'm not too bothered about that. Fight with utter belief. They didn't really have much of a chance. Now we could vassalize them, but as we saw. They are an aggressive faction in defiance, which means the likelihood of being able to keep them vassalized is pretty bloody low. So we may as well just confederate them. Unified, we will achieve much. Which means we now have this fealty down here, which is going to give us extra research rate, extra income from peasantry. It's not a great bonus, but it's something. And we've also got 2,000 for doing that, so that's quite nice. There we go, we have confederated them. And that also means that we get them in our faction as well. Now man expand their reach. So we have control of four settlements. That gives us even more money, which is nice. And the tribes united under a single banner gain the fealties of all the Nan Man tribes. Oof. Quite That's quite a that's quite an ask, really. This is beyond reason. Well, that's what I said. Anyway, I think the best option here is to maybe upgrade the settlement. Because if we can upgrade the settlement, then it will be fairly safe. And then we're just, we're just advancing in one direction. So we are now at war with this guy down here, Tuan. Uh, what's his fealty? Where's he? There he is. So, more... Oh, plus 15 melee evasion, faction wide. I mean, you know, not bad. I'll take it. Peace through conquest. I'll take that bad boy. Uh, we could rush this for 2,000. I don't... I, I just don't think it's worth it. I think we're, we're going to upgrade this instead. It's going to take four turns, but I think um, that's probably well worth the effort. We can actually get our erstwhile enemy in our faction. Now, he doesn't like Shimoka because obviously they're rivals. But... I mean, he does have some good stuff. What we should do, maybe, to, to keep him happy. Oh, apparently he's got a spouse who we don't know, really. He's lame. Ugh, cunning. Okay. Suspicious. And cowardly. I don't know if he's worth, like, being lame. Minus four instincts. I mean, it's only minus four instincts. He's got loads of resolve, so... Is he a loyal lieutenant? So he gives plus five construction cost faction wide. Well, what a guy. <laughs> what a guy. I guess being that he was like a king, maybe we should put him in our, in our council. So that give minus two corruption, more trade influence. Is that the same for everyone? Yes. So it doesn't really matter who we put in here. I think we should put him in there. We're going to make him put him on our tribal council because he was a king and that will also keep him happy. I am going to get... You are not super happy, but I would like... So maybe we get you. 
A lapping tide erodes stone. That is going to cut into our income, but that's fine. Who do we actually have on, on our payroll? We've got you. Who the fuck are you? Untested official. Uh, oh, you're brilliant. And quiet. And defiance. Brilliant's a great trait. I mean, not super fantastic for us, considering we don't have we have we're going to have very limited ammo, but or very limited missile units. But I mean, you know, it's something. Pick up your swords and be ready. Guess I'm going to have to, aren't I? Told you they were super aggressive, didn't I? Look at them! Look at them go! Getting all up in my shit already. Oof. A leader emerges. News your expansion of your day domain spreads. Docile comes before you in person. To him, your ambitions are clear and not wanted to make an enemy of you. He insists he proposed to join under your banner peacefully. It is belief that if you if you give proof of your mutual benefit, blah, 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 blah. So we can accept him as a vassal. We can have him executed. Seems a bit harsh. Or we can decline the offer. Obviously, we're going to accept accept him as a vassal so our power increases we're now lord of the valley yes and the sages fail t so we get plus one active tribal council positions we unlock several different units as well and uh, more research rates now some of these new units are super good super super good so let's have a look at some of them so we get the hidden vipers so these guys obviously are quite expensive however I won't recruit them because they are, let's say, super expensive. But they get this mixed missile stance, which means that basically they can both defend and shoot at the same time. They've got poison attacks. Although the missile da uh, damage isn't very high, um, they actually... Uh, where's the poison buff? Maybe it's not shown, but... Oh, poison weapons, here we go. So lingering armor ignoring damage on the foes that are hit. Um, plus they stalk so you can use them on the flank and then just riddle enemies with poison and do quite a lot of damage and plus if you then get charged it's like who gives a shit because actually looking at their stats you're actually pretty good in melee as well so pretty good um you also get the the poison darts who are slightly cheaper they don't have they're not sort of the melee units but you can use them uh, just to poison enemy units just kind of, they're kind of like a cheaper version but they just don't have the the melee stats and then you also get the the poison spears who are a spear unit who obviously have the um, do they have charge reflection yes they do and they also have poison weapons i'm not so sure about these guys being any good to be honest but you know worth worth keeping an eye on them could could potentially be good um we can reach this in one turn can't we good which means in fact can we reach you Cat, we can reach you. You can be like, hello. Hello? What do you have here? What's if you've got fun stuff? You've got a. Oh, you've got a battle axe. Shame if you were to, uh, you know, lose that. For some reason we've had a uh, a little race to get to the top of the hill <laughs> to try and get the high ground i guess and uh, the enemy army has decided finally to give up mostly because i mean they're screwed no matter what they do i mean what, what do they think they're outnumbered Kill them! i mean pretty massively outnumbered as well Raining stones on the Nanman spears here. They are taking an awful lot of damage. They don't have any shields either, so no missile resistance. Just getting whittled down very, very quickly. 
There's Edward. I mean, Kai's on there as well, but I'm, I'm not really interested in him. It's more, more all about Edward, really. Edward the Elephant. Attack! Yeah, so these guys, they're being, like, riddled with stones, and now I'm hitting them in the flank. And, they, well, yeah, I mean, what, what, mm. I mean, it was very ballsy to launch an attack. I have to give them that, but ultimately massively futile, and... My Might of the Valley is just... To to I was going to say tearing through them. They managed to kill six. Six, seven, nine. Oh, that's looking better. And my slightly better Slingers taking out the slightly worse Slingers. Have it. Now, Shimoka and the enemy general are sort of like dueling each other. Now, the enemy general is... I mean, his stats aren't actually too bad. If we have a look at him, he's got... He's, he's not actually... You know what? He's... Mm. I mean, still, he shouldn't... 28 melee defense. I think Shimoka's got better. He's got 25. I mean, you know... It's... It should be fine. I wish he'd stop killing all my people. It's really obnoxious. So he is... He's the chieftain. And he actually has special armor as well. I think all the I think all the chieftain armor is basically the same, all the sort of like king armor. Fight. For the cause. We've got him. Now they're bopping each other. Your form needs improvement. Such empty, empty words. Is it? I don't think so. He won't duel me, but he will sit there and just wail away. Like as we trade blows. I've done some nice early damage to him. Uh Shimoka took a bad hit there. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm losing this fight. Ow. He got another hit in there. That's my Southern Wrath ability. Um, I... I might lose... Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, he's running away. And then Shimoka's running away. <laughs> they broke each other. Okay. Fine. Fine. That's fine. Uh... Dai is running over to sort of like help out. Uh, the enemy Tuan is legging it. He's gone. He's out of here. And Dai is just chasing down some, some slingers. Get in there, my son. Wreck them. They're out of here. They're shattered. They're gone. As I think is almost everyone else, apart from these spears, apparently, who go, are... Go, go. Well, about to get battered by my slightly better slingers. And Edward. <laughs> you just can't keep Edward down. Well, that was a little bit close than I would have liked. Heaven rewarded our passion. Oof. Poor Shimoka took a took an absolute beating. Oh dear. Uh, let's take the income because I could use it. And we can't follow up, but you are pretty dead. And we can rank up. Also, we're now the Bloodshot Lord, which means that uh, we give a little bit of extra melee damage for Axe Infantry, and also we get the uh, we get a new ability called Southern Wrath, which uh, does some AOE damage, uh, which is quite nice. So that's quite good. I'm going to keep buffing instincts, I think. I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep doing that. Wait, does that... Wait, does that buff... Is that just melee damage? Base. Is it not armor-piercing damage? It might not be armor-piercing damage. In which case, that's entirely pointless, because we have no melee damage. It's just all armor-piercing damage. Oh, well. Oh, well. Never mind. It's not important. Uh, right. So, Tuan, you have... How many settlements do you have, buddy? Have you just got the one? Is that just the one you have? Can we check? This will be short. Yeah, well, maybe. Maybe. Uh, I can't tell what you have, can I? I don't think you've got much. I think that might be it. What what how, what are you like? You're aggressive, so there's no point trying to confederate you or vassalize you because you will just you will just lose your shit. You, Dong Dong Tuna, 
in interesting name. You, though, are an underdog, and you would potentially become our vassal. So that's interesting. Uh, we too, Goo, what about you? You're controlling narcissists. You're arrogant. You're a warrior, and you're brave. But you're not defiant. Which means we could potentially vassalize you. So there's some options. Um, but if we now have a look at our little unification mandate here, we can see we get uh, minus 5% recruitment cost for all Nanman units and plus 2 morale faction-wide as well. And that's for defeating uh, this, this tribe over here. And then we also get corporations. We get plus dip 8 diplomatic relations with the Nanman and 10% diplomatic income from tributaries, which is quite nice. So basically we get just a little bit more money um, being paid into our coffers from our allies. And uh, Dosi is there. Now, he can actually become quite nasty if you let him. Um, he will tend to just run around conquering stuff. I have had trouble with him before doing that. It's it's quite annoying when you go to, like, finish off a faction and vassalize them. And then Dosi has gone and, like, finished off their last settlement before you can reach it. That That's quite annoying. So, hopefully... We, we can put a stop, or at least beat him to the punch anyway. That should be fine. We're building stuff up there. Our next target is definitely Jiang Ying over here. And we also have Wu Tugu. Now, there's a, no, Meng Ho is over here, but we have a non-aggression pack with him, so that should be fine. We also have this guy down here, who it would be nice to finish off, but we'd need a second army to do that. Although, we are looking not too bad at the moment. We could actually do a little bit more recruitment. Maybe when we get back into that city, we could do that. Um, finish off. Maybe get some hidden vipers and stuff. Maybe just sort... Because our army is a bit hodgepodge at the moment. Maybe source it out. Because, I mean, like... Shimoka gives bonuses to axe infantry. And, obviously, we've got some sword infantry in here who aren't getting that benefit. I mean, like, the might of the valley... They are they, they have a lot of melee attack and a lot of armor piercing as well, so they're quite nasty. And if you let them get into uh into melee, especially if uh, Shimoka is leading them. And he's also like picking up the traits like the infantry chief. So that's actually quite nice. Plus you get charge reflect at uh when when you when you uh have ranked up 30 units. Which does mean that even units like our slingers would have charge reflect, which means if a cavalry unit tries to charge them from the front. Well, that's going to sting quite a lot. Um, and to be honest, that could be a really good way of dealing with uh, with cavalry charges. Because obviously, we, we don't have many good ways of dealing with cavalry. Um, apart from our own spears. And that's quite defensive. And the Nan Man feel like quite an aggressive faction. But that is going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.